Jumping rope, hopscotch, and frisbee are just a few activities that you can do just about anywhere. But kids these days, well, today, they just don't do it. They're not attracted to these outdoor activities because of video games and um, all kinds of technology that we have today, like TV and the computer. <coughs> and that's a big reason why kids today struggle with obesity, childhood obesity. <clears throat> and through my research, I found that one third of our country's children are overweight. Sadly, I'm sure that we all know at least one child that struggles with childhood obesity. So today, I would like to show you how big of an impact child, childhood obesity has on our country and things we can do to prevent it. Let me start by explaining how dangerous it is. Obviously, overweight children are more likely to become overweight adults. And according to Jeff Barnes of StopChildhoodObesity.com, obesity is the cause of death for over 300,000 people per year. Also, since 1980, obesity in adolescents has tripled and has doubled in children. And 80% of those children become obese adults by age 25. The health risks with obesity are very dangerous and can cause um, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, orthopedic complications, sleep apnea, depression, asthma, and heart problems. And that's only a few of the symptoms. Well, not symptoms, but risks. <clears throat> All of the risks get progressively worse as a child starts becoming an obese adolescent or an obese adult. <clears throat> and eventually they can threaten their lives. Now I would like to tell you about some, oh, about a couple causes of obesity. The first cause is lack of physical activity, like I mentioned. <clears throat> Kids are not going outside to play games or sports all that much anymore. It's more about TV, it's more about technology and playing video games watching TV, watching movies, <clears throat> and I would like to show you a chart here that describes that. Slide, please. Now, this is a survey done by Children with Foot Fitness Info, and you can see that technology time, 44%, is between 4 and 8 p.m. of children's lives, and then sedentary time, which is basically doing nothing, is 31% of the time, and they're only active 25% of the time. <clears throat> Another major cause is unhealthy eating. Yeah, next slide, please. It's a, a reliant, they're too reliant on fast food, unhealthy eating like McDonald's. They're not eating fruits, vegetables, or even like a grilled chicken. They're just eating McDonald's. <clears throat> Instead of kids having fast food like McDonald's, although the toy inside just makes it taste that much better, it's not really a great diet to be eating McDonald's every day. And parents have a lot to do with this. Parents have to encourage their kids to become active. And that's, how, that's where the solution starts. The parents have to have to tell their kids, well, encourage their kids to be involved in sports and take them even to the park, do anything, I mean, climb on a jungle gym. <clears throat> and they also shouldn't be take, taking these kids to McDonald's as much as, as much as they really want to, because we all know kids don't like to eat healthy. <clears throat> but a diet can't be McNuggets and fries every day. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Super Size Me. I think everyone's seen that, and uh, you can see that he gets really, really sick in the 30 days that he tries eating the fast food. <clears throat> and if parents can do these two things, keeping their kids active and keeping and having them eat less fast food, they can change our country. <clears throat> Unfortunately, America is known as a fat and lazy country, 
much is probably true, but it can be fixed with those with parents and kids working together to become better, to be in better shape. Parents have to encourage kids to be active, encourage them to eat better, but eventually it's down to the kids and kids our age, adolescents, young adults, and we have to make our own choices to eat right and to be active, to get involved in sports. <clears throat> That's it.